The COVID-19 pandemic has been rough across the board in the arts, but it's been particularly hard for the independent grassroots live performers. So tonight I thought I'd go and chat to a few of the country's brightest cabaret stars to see how their year has been. My name is Abigail Collins. But what am I? Is comedian stretching it? A, a comedy character performer, and I do circus tricks. I do like a bit of hula hooping. I serve a cocktail on my head. You know, we've all basically lost our careers that we've spent years crafting and putting together. Um, and not only that, but we're sort of led to believe by the government that actually we don't matter. The arts don't matter. Theatre doesn't matter. It's, it's so rage-making. It's just, it just makes me so angry that we're so dispensable. Um, when we're not, you know, you give people the option to come and see entertainment and the show sells out. Yes, it's, it's diminished in number, but people want entertainment. When, when life is sad and grey, people reach for stuff that isn't and uh, to be made to feel like we don't matter and we're not important and we should just you know go do something else just feels shit in the beginning i didn't miss performing but i think i didn't miss it because i didn't want to think about what we were missing and what we'd lost and the fact that it is it is our church in a way and that all of our colleagues are our friends and that you know we it's so social what we do like just this evening sitting and talking to everybody and you know the the commiserations the shared experience and that we are a family and that you can meet somebody and you, immediately because you're standing in front of your underwear or no underwear that the relationships we form are very quick and very dynamic and that we we really gel together and obviously you don't get on with everybody but we have this tribe and this family especially you and I from having done street performing and um, just like the smell of being backstage like being in the wings it's just it's just amazing and the warmth of the spotlights and everything like that and just being backstage here is just it's just amazing and it's it's just that surreal moment of like how much I really missed it and I didn't think that I would miss it as much as I I do and I'm just so honored to be performing here tonight so yeah <laughs> you know I'd, I'd never normally have to consider how far I am away from my band or my acts. You know, normally we'd all be in the same dressing room and we're not. The audience, I'd be able to clamber on them or touch them with the permission. Uh, and I can't. Um, they, can't they can't cheer or scream. I suppose they can gasp because it's inwards. <laughs> I feel like uh, there's, there's been a lot of learning curves, I think, for everyone in this, in these, in these crazy days. And, Hopefully we'll get through it and be so much stronger for it. <laughs> when people check in with me now, it really, it really means the world to me. So I think just, yeah, just, just checking in with each other. And also, you know, you're infinitely creative. You always find ways to stay creative. But for everybody else, to, to, for us to stay creative and to keep producing work and then thinking like, you know, how, how long is it going to be like this? And as much as we don't, you know, we are a life form and we must always stay a life form and we must keep this thing alive because what I'm hoping is it will be like, you know, the after the First World War and the Spanish flu, after that pandemic, roaring 20s, everybody went crazy. So I'm hoping, come back, come back, come back, that we get this, you know, there'll be a massive resurgence.
so it's the morning after and now it's my turn to tell you what I think. If you follow me on social media or watch my videos, you will know that I've done a couple of shows since things started opening back up. And they felt good, but not great. The unsureness of both the audience and, if I'm honest, also me, about how to navigate things now, what the new rules are, and even whether we should be doing shows at all, meant that I didn't really get the payoff from the delayed gratification that I had hoped for. I didn't get the emotional nourishment that is such a key part of this art form. But I got it last night. The combination of hanging out with friends that I love and admire, live music with a live band, the socially distanced catch up backstage, and having fun in front of an audience that really wanted some fun. All in a venue that by coincidence I played 30 years ago alongside a girl that went on to become my wife. Well, that all came together to land a pretty effective heavy punch in my guts. Before the show, I sat in an empty auditorium watching my friends rehearse on stage as the tears rolled down my face and got mopped up by my mask. I got reminded that the precious intoxication that we all get from this is still there waiting for us. The government have failed artists like us, make no mistake about that. I'm seeing world-class theatre makers that have been touring the world for decades, flying the flag for Britain, suddenly being told that they're unimportant, that the careers they've worked their lifetimes to build are to be left to die. Well, it might be a long time until things are back to the way they were, but when they are, Cabaret will have been waiting in the dressing room, warmed up, in costume, and will have something to say. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please do click there and subscribe. Subscribing to my channel is a great way for you to show me that you like what I'm making and to encourage me to keep making more. It really means a lot, so thanks in advance. Also, give this video a like and share it with anyone that you think might enjoy it. And if you're not doing so already, please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you like the kind of things you saw in this video, then come and see me live. I'm doing my full-length solo show in a socially distanced venue in the West End once a month until Christmas. There's plenty of information and links for that in the text below the video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.